Hello. I would like to highlight the findings of our paper titled Effect of Routine First Trimester Combined Screening for Preeclampsia on Small Gestational Age Birth, a Secondary Interrupted Time Series Analysis. This paper is uh, by uh, Gavin Guy et al. Uh, and based on data from the Fetal Medicine Unit at St George's University Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust in London. There is really a lack of high quality research uh, which has led to various strategies to screen for pregnancies complicated by poor fetal growth. Unfortunately, all of them lacking a good evidence base. One example is the NICE Pregnancy Booking Risk Assessment Checklist, which is unable to produce an individual risk for the woman, uh, thereby precluding the provision of personalised care in pregnancy and resulting in rather broad and inaccurate classification of women into risk groups. Uh, in this retrospective study of over 12,000 pregnant women cared for at St George's Hospital in London, we studied the impact of replacing conventional NICE pregnancy risk assessment checklist with the Fetal Medicine Foundation first trimester combined screening algorithm for preeclampsia and evaluated the impact on prevalence of SGA birth. Women considered at high risk of preterm preeclampsia, that is a risk greater than 1 in 50, in the FMF cohort were offered 150 milligrams of aspirin commenced before 16 weeks of gestation, serial growth scans as well as elective birth from 40 weeks of gestation. Uh, the data was analyzed using an interrupted time series analysis method. This is a statistical approach that involves tracking outcomes before and after the specific point of intervention. This analysis was undertaken to control for confounders due to other changes uh, such as access to clinical resources, either staffing protocols or, or, or even equipment. The analysis demonstrated a significant 45% reduction in the rate of term SGA birth below the 10th centile in the FMF screen cohort compared to the NICE screen cohort. There were no changes in the rates of uh, SGA birth below the 5th or 3rd centile, which were rare outcomes in the first instance. Our study showed the first trimester Fetal Medicine Foundation combined screening for preeclampsia accompanied by a policy of offering serial growth scans and scheduled birth from 40 weeks of gestation for women at high risk of preeclampsia resulted in almost a halving of the rate of term SGA birth below the 10th centile. The data of this study really does question the continued use of a checklist-based approach to pregnancy risk assessment. Thank you and I hope you enjoy reading the full paper.